for Morikawa here. He needs to really get some elevation, try and get some spin on this. Thomas, I don't know about you, but that's a long five iron. That's a very good five iron. This is an excellent five iron from Colin Morikawa. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Still a bit blustery from the left hand side, the RBC win graphics. Just be sneaking. No, this is brilliant. Excellent. What a shot is this? He's been known to hit a good driver on a par four. <laughs> yes. <laughs> How good is this? What a goal shot. Not quite as good as the one at Harding Park. Not quite, but it's up there, though. Morikawa with a little chip on six. This is probably the easy angle to come with. And that was almost a two. Third shot, Morikawa, after the troubles of Victor Hovland. Yeah, the only thing you have to do is not bring the order to play, really. Yeah, exactly. Okay, don't hit this thin, we've got it. <laughs> really short tee shot here, let himself a long way in, ball above his feet. Hovland a good 40 yards in front of him. Excellent shot from that position. Wow, and an aggressive line. It's going to be a win for the Europeans. And that's a really good effort, isn't it? But it's not going to be good enough, I'm afraid. And that match is back on Morikawa. You really just want to learn this about 15 yards short of the pin, let the green do the work. Or you could do that. Throw it all the way back. Gosh, that sat down quickly. He's got such a neutral ball flight. Looks like he's got the lie. He's got the upslope. It's the only way he can get it closed. Full swing. He's done that really well. I've seen loads of guys play the, the tenth hole that way. Just... He'll be doing well to get this on the green. Wind coming off the right. Ball below his feet. champion world called onto the back where he will. And Colin Morikawa with a birdie putt. That's big for Johnson and Morikawa. Remember three up. McElroy will hear him. Still has a birdie putt there to tie the hole. So just a moment ago, Morikawa now. Good line, uphill line, not much green to work with, but easy to throw it up in the air. Brilliant shot from the Open champion. It's even inside Team Europe. 12th hole. That's pretty good. Right over the flat stick, the little spin control. Much closer, tougher to get spin on this with the wind off the left. So you take it way outside the line, cut across it. They've got a bookshelf of those textbooks. That was a much more difficult shot than what. But he's been forced to make the putt. Morikawa at three, birdie putt. That's more like it from the Open champion. I'm 
I'm just amazed at how metronomical. Now on the tee, representing the United is. States of America. Pretty much the same shot for Morikawa. Saw exactly how the ball reacted on the green. And a more aggressive swing there from Morikawa. Just a sensational finish. Yeah, he's looking straight at this one. He should be dancing around the hall. He's been excellent with his wedges this week. Yeah, this needs to get in close. Wouldn't surprise you if it came in close. Yeah, that's a good shot. At least he's not giving the hole away as of yet. So down to the seventh tee with Colin Morikawa. Go Colson's back in the commentary box alongside Thomas Bjorn and myself. Oh, I got it. Fine. Try and find that pin on the right. I think we've seen a lot of balls right of that pin location at the back, right of the green. So just to confirm, Rory McIlroy is two up in the top match as we go to the seventh and Colin Morikawa. Go. Go. You didn't quite catch all of it. That's a nice little put forward. Haven't seen too many of those at the same What a lovely shot. Never, ever in doubt. He goes one up, one to play. That guarantees the United States a half point. And that is going to be enough for this uber-talented American team to win this Ryder Cup.